brothers and sisters that smoke? Cancer, all that. Cancer, bronchitis, and a long list of other stuff. A drug deal going bad. You get, you get struck out because it's called a gateway drug. You start smoking a cigarette, then you smoke weed, then you're doing crack, then you get struck out, and you go on to something else, and you just keep going. It's a long line. Let's talk about depression. Huh? I want to talk about depression. Let's talk about and, and, depression. And Let's depression, deal with it. depression comes from not knowing who you are, not knowing 100%. how to deal with certain situations. 100%. So you know what comes from depression? Uh -huh. Suicide. Yes. And you Suicide, abuse, you all fall types fall of stuff. Fall. So that's a part of the fine, defiling your temple. Right. But look, it all starts from it, what? It's no sin greater than another sin. That's a lot. So that means that's that nobody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so, so now, do you know the Bible or do you want to learn the Bible? Let me know. I know parts of the Bible. Okay, good. So you know the Bible. So what is sin? I'm going to ask you again. What is sin according to the Bible? Give me first John real quick. Put it through. Sin, it says know thyself. If you don't uh, know yourself, uh -huh. that means that you're automatically in sin because you don't know what's wrong and what's right for you. Okay. Not for the next person. Let's see what God says. But for you. Because guess what? Unlike what you just said, God got the same standard for everybody. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. For too long, we've been saying, God, I got a personal relationship with you. Know. God know my heart. God don't give a damn about that. That's right. God got a standard that each and every one of us is going to live up to and he's going to put us to death. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. Guess what? His standard don't involve allowing us to smoke cigarettes, weed, or Ooh. being a Mr. Fornication. Right. Right. Listen good. First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. yeah. Whosoever committed sin, what? whosoever commit sin, Read. transgresseth also the law. What do you do? Transgresseth also the law. So what's sin, brother? I'm sticking with my answer. So you ain't going to go with the Bible? You don't, you don't believe the Bible then? I, I believe there's what multiple Bibles. What the Bible just defines sin? Canadized, Orthodox, huh? King Transgression James. of the law. Hey. They said yes. that in the no, Bible, no, no, that all of us fall short. 100%. So that yeah, means that there's no I, 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 sin that you can you can c commit even if it's not smoking, even if it's lying, mm -hmm. lying to yourself. That's a sin because you don't know who you are. So what happens if you know what you're doing is wrong, like smoking, and you continue? What's going to happen then? That's another, it's a sin on top of a sin on top of a sin. Because you know what you're supposed to be but, doing, brother. What? But John, what? Give me James real, 417. Okay. You know what you're doing is wrong. Who's perfect? So if you don't commit sin, that means you're perfect. Yes. All right, so who's perfect? Me, I never said you, I was perfect. I said I'm I'm, 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 I'm just answering your question. Right. You asked who is perfect. Nobody. And I, and I said, that's not right. I said being perfect and being sinless are two different things. Now watch. I'm going to back into the out of the Bible. Give me Proverbs 8 and 61. I'm going to show you what perfect is according to God. Because what we think is perfect is if I shoot 10 shots, I make it 10 times. That's not perfect to God. Because like what you said, you said we all fall short, right? So that means what? If I fall, I do what? I get back up, right? But if that means if I smoke, and somebody say, hey, you ain't supposed to be smoking, what should I do next? Do what you want to do. Ah, you see that? Do what you want to do. No, you don't do what you want to do. God says the mind is wicked. That's right. That's really wicked. Who can do it? Who can do it? Chapter 3 and verse 16. Yeah. All scripture. 
scripture is given by inspiration of God. Hold on, hold on. He's on the phone. Man. He's on the phone. So, what we're showing right now is that I want to show him that the only way he can reach perfection is not by listening to his mind, but by taking heed to the commandments. You understand that? That is what we have not done as a nation of people since we've been open here. You know? And guess what? It's evident when you look at our people. You can see the way when we look at our people. You see that? You see that? That's when you go after your own mind. You see, you can pick up any woman you want. You smoke whatever I want. That ain't what God tells you to do. Now listen, I'm showing you what perfect is. Read. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. Yeah. All scripture uh -huh. is given by inspiration of God. Read. And is profitable. It's what? Profitable. So you gotta apply what you read. It's profitable to you. Read. For doctrine. Uh-huh. And for reproof. For reproof. For correction. Because everything I said to you, it ain't come out of my thoughts or out of my mind, but it came out of the Bible. Yeah. Read. For correction, uh -huh. for instruction in righteousness. Hold on, for what? For instruction in righteousness. Because you said you was righteous. You said, I'm not perfect, I'm righteous. Yeah. How are you righteous if you ain't doing what the Bible tells you? Yeah. Yeah. That the man of God Maybe may what? be perfect. Hold on, that what? That the man of God may be perfect. That's the only way you reach perfection. Right. By yeah. applying yeah. the commandments. Yeah. Read me Proverbs 3 and 5. Just do what you want to do when you come into a hard situation. Yep. Don't worry about the Bible. Don't seek counsel. Just do whatever comes to your heart, whatever comes to your mind. Listen good. Get that what he said? All right, we're going to get with that. Read. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, uh -huh. and he not unto thine own understanding. Hold on, what? Lean not unto thine own understanding. Do what? Lean not unto thine own understanding. What did the Bible say about going to your own mind? What did it say? It is said, lean not to your own understanding. Lean not unto thy own understanding. Hold up, hold up. So does that mean you do whatever you want to do? It says, know thyself. You got to know who you are. You got to know, you got to know the righteousness of you. You got, because some people are telling you you're bad, right? So if you listen to what everybody else is saying, you'll believe that person. Right, and right. you'll start to try to overwork yourself in areas you don't even need work in. Right. Listening to somebody else. So you got to know who you are in order to know what to fix. But it's a lifelong thing. Once you can fix everything and you perfect, you'll die. Because I, I, I agree that, with that too. Because the whole scripture is talking about staying out the flesh and getting into the spirit. So what is, so it, when what you is get out the flesh? flesh so you, what's the flesh? The flesh. Give me Romans 6. The flesh is basically you doing things without the knowledge of what you're doing and who you are. So you get what, what I'm saying? When you're in the spirit, you know who you are. You know that you're a Roman spirit six. and live in a physical body. It's an avatar. Roman you're in an avatar. Let's start with verse 12. Yeah, read that. Listen good, brother. Hey, and you said you're perfect. My man right here, you said you're perfect already? Where your friends is at? No. Come here, come here, come here. Let me get a with you. What's your name? Huh? Ah, right, listen good. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 12. Yeah. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Do what? Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Right, like you said, the flesh, right? right. So don't let sin reign and be, and you become flesh, we read. That you should obey it in the lust thereof. That you should what? Obey it in the lust thereof. But when you obey the flesh, right, it leads you to do what? Sin. If I see a big booty woman walking down the street, my flesh says I want to get a number and I want to sleep with her. Carnally, that's what you want to do carnally. If you're in the spirit, you say, hey, that's just you need to put on some clothes. If you're in the spirit. But here's the thing. In the spirit, in the spirit, it's not like you're trying to control nobody. The only thing you can control is you're yourself. Not. You're so that's understanding about, the uh, spirit. Restrain, restrain us. Second Corinthians 6 and 14. Really? So you said when you're in the spirit, you're not trying to control yourself. No. The Bible says the exact opposite, my brother. Right. You got it? Second Corinthians 6, verse 14. Verse 14. For the love of Christ constraineth us. Hold on. The what? The love of Christ constraineth us. So you love Christ. What does constrain mean? Constrain? It's the whole back. The whole back. Read it again. For the love of Christ constraineth us. Read. Because we thus judge uh -huh. that if one died for all, then we all dead. Now what does it mean that the love of Christ constraineth us? What does that mean? It stops us, I guess, from doing you go. the wrong thing. There you go. Yeah. It stops you from doing what? Doing what you want to do in the 
spirit by the flesh. Yes, right. Your flesh battles with your with your spirit. Yes, right. Give me that in uh, what that Galatians 5 16, right? Galatians 5 man, by the spirit and the flesh. You follow me? So, do we have to turn on our spiritual uh, mind and not do whatever we want to do? Yes or no? That's that. You gotta rephrase that uh, question, man. Cause all I'm saying okay, is no, we can't no, control I'm nobody. You what? We can't control nobody. All we can do is control ourselves. Right, right. I get that. So, I get it. What I'm saying is, I'm showing you. How I'm not you gonna judge yourself. somebody off the book because I never read that book. So that girl might be dressed like that because of what she went through, but that don't mean that she's a bad woman. See, we can't judge nobody until we know who they are, but until we until we know who we are, we ain't gonna be able to find out who nobody is. That's all I'm saying. Watch this. Hold up, chapter 19, verse 29. A man may be known by his look. Hey, what? By his look. A man or a woman may be known by his look. Read. And one that have understanding uh -huh. by his countenance. Read. When thou meetest him. Uh -huh. A man's attire. A man what? Attire. Uh -huh. And excessive laughter. Uh -huh. And gait. The way he walks. Show what he is. So what did that just say? Can I judge the book by his cover according to that? But I don't, I don't. Uh, it's part of that that I believe in. It's part of that that I don't believe in. So you, you don't there's believe King James no. Version of the Bible, there's an Orthodox, and there's a Canonical. So, 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 so now, now you don't believe in the Bible. That's what's happening right now. No, no, it's not that. It's just that, okay, the word. That was the first thing, right? The word. Okay, so if the word was the first thing, how am I going to judge somebody by their flesh? When really it's the word. The word comes from where? The mind. The mind. It's operated by what? The spirit. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying is you can't judge anybody without knowing who they are. It don't matter how give me, you give me first Corinthians 6 and 1. You, know, you can't judge. God gave us the spirit to judge. Yeah, that's right. First Corinthians 2 and 15. First Corinthians 2 and 15. You know, and guess what? You do judge when you people. Point, when you point a finger, they got three listen, points back. Listen, listen. Understand what judgment is and what condemnation is. Everybody out here judges. You, I just saw you walk, a sister walk past. She was looking at the track and you said, hey, sister, hey, sister, you should come here. What did you do? You made a judgment call and, hey, I want that. Right. You judged her. But that was that's what you, you did. That's right. You felt like you could get her. But as a man, whatever you want, you should go out but, and get her. But, but I thought you said you couldn't judge. You should judge. That's not judging. Uh, oh, that ain't judging. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to give her the chance and opportunity uh, to show me who she is. Listen to what, listen to what, what listen, listen to the Bible. Why you ain't telling nothing else? Why you ain't giving fat sister a chance? Because really? it might not be my type. Oh, I'm not to say I, no, I don't like you. Right. Right. No, hey, we all do. You you so that's what you did. You just shot him. Oh, 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 you see that? Now look. Now look. Now look. Every man listen, got his own type. Listen. Listen. I'm not saying you're wrong if you did. Right. That's and I'm not saying you're wrong. This is what I'm trying to get you to see. Judgment and condemnation is two different things. A lot of people say you can't judge. You can't judge. Yes, you can. If you don't have no judgment, there will be disorder. Right. There will be right. disorder on the world today. Yes, right. Watch this. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 15. Right. Right. But he that is spiritual. He that is what? Spiritual. He that is spiritual. Because everybody ain't spiritual. A lot of people are carnal. Bring it up. You right now are carnal. You don't know it, but you carnal. Right. Read. Judgeth all things. Hold on. He that is spiritual what? Judges all things. So when you're spiritual, you can judge all things because I do know the book. Right. Because these right. brothers know the book. Right. So we judge them according to the Bible. Right. Right. You're judging it for yourself. You're not, not judging it based myself. off of everybody else and what their standards are. You're judging off your own standards. God, standard, we all got to have our the, own standards, this, our own no, minds. Wrong, our own wrong, 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 wrong. And it's three. Bring it out. And three. No. Right. No. This, is, this is why it's important for us to know who we are as a people. Yes, sir. Our standard is the same for all of these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yes, God got the same standard for all of us. Right. Right. He gave all of us the book. He put all of us on slave ships. Yes, he put right. all of us on reservations. Yes, right. He took all of our last days. Right. He took all of our language. Yes, right. So now, guess what? We got to all wake up and live to that same standard for Jesus. Yes, right. This is good. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, uh -huh. O children of Israel. Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Hold on, against who? The whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So God is judging the whole nation of Israel. 
for he said, you only have I known. Hold on. Is he ever, is he judging everybody? You only have I known uh-huh. of all the families of the earth. God says, I'm judging the Israelites. That's right. You are the only people I'm judging because you're the only people that got to live up to that standard. That's, right. That's why when we come out here and teach, we're not worried about nobody else but my people. That's That's right. Right. We're with the Israelites because God told us to go and teach our people. Give right. me Matthew 15 and 24. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go forth and teach my people the word of God right. so that they can repent of their sin. Right. You understand that? Because did everybody go through what we went through as a nation of people? Did everybody on the face of the earth go through what we went through? They had more than just black people that was enslaved. I know that. When right. I, so listen that's to what I'm saying when I say my saying. people. I don't just have black people up here. Hispanics too and Native Americans. That's, right. that's my people. So right. listen to what God said. Matt chapter 15 and verse 24. Oh. But he answered and said, I am not sent. What? I am not sent, really? but yes, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh-huh. So, Christ said he only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, yes, right. Right. That's who the lost sheep are. You part of the lost sheep, my brother. Yes, yes, right. Because you don't know who you are. Yes, you don't know your nationality. You don't know what God's telling you to do today. Yes, you right. don't know that today is the Sabbath day and how to keep it. You don't but know that. You know. So that's why we are here to teach you, my brother. Yes. Yes. By the love, we come out here. So, so, so you can't learn nothing either? Who we? Yeah. Give me first John 2 and 27. Really? Let's, see, let's see what God says about that. Because guess what? We didn't just wake up and decide to come out here. We trained for this. That's right. Right. Day in and day out. We are the priest of the most high God. Let's right. go. For John chapter 2 and verse 27. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The anointing which ye have received of him uh-huh. abideth in you. Read. And ye need not that any man teach you. Hold on, you need what? Ye need not that any man teach you. Uh-huh. But as the same anointing teaches you. Of all things. So, the Bible says you don't need no man to teach you. But guess what? You need somebody. Yes, Give me Acts chapter 8 and verse 27. Yeah. Yeah. You must be taught, my brother, because right. you haven't applied the commandments. Do we, I have teachers? You know, it's not that we just believe in two different things. We're two different people, so we we're grew not. up two different we're ways. We're not. We're the same people. Yes. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Listen good. All these brothers out here, do you think we all live the same exact life? You think we all had two parents? You think we all didn't sell drugs? You think we all didn't murder Bring somebody? Out. We have no, yeah. but guess what? When we woke up and actually read that Bible, we said, hey, all of that don't matter. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna do what the Bible says. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna put what I wanna do to the side and I'm gonna do exactly what the Bible says. Yeah. 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 And that's what you see out here. That's what Every shape, size, all that don't matter. Don't matter where you come from. Don't matter who your mother is, your daddy is. Bring it out. Now this is you keep the commandments. And condemn somebody for thinking for themselves. Just because I don't believe in what you believe in, don't mean, hold on, hold on. Just because I don't believe in what you don't believe in or what y'all believe in, right. don't mean we can't build together as black men because that's who we all got. Right, 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 Even right. though we don't have the same religion or denomination, right. we all black men, right? And that's what we're talking about. Right. So why can't I teach you something you teach me something? Good. Why, why I gotta be devalued and you be lifted up Good. just because you know what you know and y'all all got the same religion? Good. Just because that, it don't mean nothing. Okay. You can learn from anybody. You can learn from an ant. Right. That's how everybody evolved. Good. From learning from their own mistakes, right. from their own situations, uh-huh. and other people. Gotcha. Now, you get what I, I'm saying? It's just, it just open-mindedness. No, you know good, what I'm good. saying? Now, I want to answer that. When you say, can I learn from you, I'm talking about biblically. You don't have anything to teach me biblically. Yes, can I take practical knowledge from you? You may know things day that day I don't day know. Day-to-day stuff. Right, day 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 yes, you know absolutely we can Because a lot of people don't know how to interpret the right, Bible to right. take it from the Bible right. to day-to-day there stuff. You go. That's there why you a lot go. of people that be in the Bible, they have terrible relationships. Right. They still be in depression. They still be in homosexuality. Right. Right. They still be lustful and carnal. They still, they still look at other people wise and stuff. So at the end of the day, you can't tell me. Out of all of y'all here, not one of y'all didn't lie today. We didn't lie today. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Why? Because you know why? Why? Because all of us lie at some point. At some point, we didn't lie. So that means that nobody. Show me what somebody lied. So that means that nobody perfect. Show me what somebody lied. All I'm saying is nobody perfect, which means that we all need help and we all need some time. And what do we use? What do we use? Open minded. I guess. What do we use to help? What's the medicine? Open mindedness. You open your mind up. No, no. You understand that you don't know everything. Proverbs three and five again. You keep going back to the same thing. I'm just saying. You want to lead us to your own. Understanding. That's right. No, don't leave it to your own understanding. Right. This is good. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Uh-huh. Trust in the Lord. Do what? Trust in the Lord. When have we been coming out of the whole time? Yeah. When have we been coming out of? Oh, no, I don't know what you mean. Flesh? What you the Bible. Bible. The Bible. How many scriptures have you taught? 
told me for what you think. Okay, I'll tell you this. The Lord is not actually a spirit. Uh, you get what I'm saying? The Lord on, is like Lord Farquaad. It's somebody hey, of high stature. Hold That's the Lord. You know what I'm right? saying? We have a conversation. All I did was ask you, uh, how many times have you quoted the scriptures to back up what you said? I did. Oh, right. I said, know thyself. What verse? I don't know the verse, but I know it. I don't have to know the verse to know the You do have to know the verse. Hold on, hold on. You do. Everything you said is not in line with the Bible. Hey, it's not in line with the Bible. Look, it doesn't matter because you knew when I said it. What's your name? Anthony, what's your name? Just want to fly. Okay, Tony. So I'm doing this. Hey, my brother, what's your name again, boss? Dre. Me, I've been dealing with Dre for about an hour. Me and Dre have been going back and forth. He, he spin knowledge, I'm spin knowledge. Now, when you go to the Bible, God has a standard for how we receive and give knowledge. Do y'all know what that standard is? How do I know if what somebody's telling me is true or not? First John 2 and 4. Bring it up. So, how do we know if it's valid information from the Bible or not? You all, let me ask you. You don't know? If you don't know that's right, what you say, sis? Okay, how do I know if somebody's telling me the truth or not out of the Bible? You know? For me, it's through life experience. That's how I know if somebody's telling the truth or not. Okay, good. Let's see what God says. Look at the church, chapter 2, verse 3. Hold on, hold on. Let it pass back. I want y'all to get this verse. Because guess what? Y'all go y'all need to apply this every day. Yes, Especially tomorrow. A lot of y'all gonna go to church tomorrow and might listen to a poor child with a pop. Yes, that's bro. lying to you. Yes, bro. You ain't go down the street today and see some other people out here teaching that's lying to you. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to discern if they tell you the truth or not. Right. Listen good. For John chapter 2 verse 3. Right. And hereby we do know that we know him. Uh-huh. If we keep his commandments. So this is how we know if we know somebody, if they keep his commandments, read. He that said, I know him. He that what? He that said, I know him. He that said, I know him, meaning what? He puts himself or herself in an authority position out of the vine. He that said, I know him, read. And keepeth not his commandments. And does what? And keepeth not his commandments. Read. Is a liar. Is a what? Liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. So if they don't teach, the, if they not keeping the commandments, the Bible says they are what? They are liars. <laughs> God's going to destroy you. You are sin. This brother spoke. Is he a liar or is he telling the truth? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Hey, look, I've never said uh, that. You see that. So when he's telling, whatever's coming out of his mouth is a lie. Yeah. is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with robots.